Hello everyone, and welcome to the Aesir and Boken Star Wars Force Awakens commentary. How are you doing, Boken? Are you excited? Oh, so much. I'm, oh, I'm excited for getting to episode 9. <laughs> I've never seen episode 9. We're going to work our I way I know, through that's why I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be uh, pressing play soon. The way this works is uh, we'll just do a countdown, and when we say play... The, you, the viewer, you can also press play, and then um, we'll just tell you what's on our screens, uh, and then you'll sort of be able to sync up. All right. And for the record, we're we're watching the digital version on Disney Plus, which yes. just released on, on in Germany. We've been waiting for a long time for uh, Disney Plus to reach Germany so we could do this. Yes. Daniel isn't with us because Daniel is a coward. Yeah. <laughs> He anyway. thinks this movie is mediocre. <laughs> what a joker. <laughs> anyway, are we uh, ready to pl press play? I am ready, yes. Okay, uh, when I say play, you press play. Three, two, one, play. Uh, Lucasfilm. What do you think about the, uh, the new crawl, since we don't have the fox uh, drums anymore? Long time ago, a galaxy far, far away. Wait, what? What new crawl? Ah, uh, well, we don't have. I, I mean, the new opening. We don't have the fox uh, drums anymore. Oh, I honestly don't care at all. And if you hadn't said anything, I wouldn't have noticed. It always sort of looks a bit inauthentic to me when I watch these new Star Wars movies. That it's just missing. All right. So I mean, Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Luke Skywalker is vanished. What are your thoughts? <laughs> oh, shit. I hope they find him. I hope he's going to help them out. With the support of the Republic, Leia Organa leads a brave resistance. Why do you think resistance is capitalized? Have they ever written out the rule books for how these uh, title crawls work? Because the resistance is an institution. Oh. It's an organization. It's a name. Not a creative name. But uh, I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh, the old ally who's discovered the clue to Luke's whereabouts. Max von Sydow died a few, uh, like a couple of weeks ago. Who is he's, what? Max von Sydow. I, I know the, that name. Who is he? He's, he's the uh, priest, priest in The Exorcist. He's the old guy who Kylo Ren kills in the beginning. Oh, Spoiler alert, okay. everyone. Oh, shit. Right, look at this. I want to do uh, one of these commentaries. Um, I, I, I want to do a commentary for Terminator 3, and then I, we could just do what Arnold Schwarzenegger did on that commentary. Have you watched it? No. It's I haven't even watched Terminator 3. <laughs> it's an incredible commentary. He's just going, oh, this scene here is awesome. <laughs> this scene is awesome. <laughs> for like two hours, he's just talking about what's happening on screen. So he's like... <laughs> Oh, my character! My character is angry because his glasses broke. No, your character is angry because he was beaten up. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then there's a scene where the uh, woman Terminator makes her breasts bigger, and he's talking about, oh well, she's really happy because she can have the best of both worlds: big breasts, small breasts, whatever she wants. Like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what movie are you Isn't watching? Is he supposed to provide like movie trivia? <laughs> He's supposed to. And behind the scenes info? Yeah. But he's like doing a really lazy narration. Uh, what do you think of BB-8? I like him. I. It's cute for the cuteness sake, for marketing, and it's dumb. Yes. What do you think of uh, Oscar Isaacs? This is just going to be me asking you what you think of this. <laughs> I think Oscar Isaacs is an incredible actor who's wasting away with this dumbass franchise. <laughs> what do you think? People have been uh, hinting that he should be Solid Snake, people who are making the Metal Gear Solid movie. Solid Snake? I don't know. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't think he's the guy. I think he has way more charisma than that. I don't think he has enough charisma. <laughs> what? He's Oscar <laughs> Isaac, dude. I know. I lied for comedy. No, I think he should be somebody. I think you want, like, somebody else. I don't think yeah, he's... Probably. Also, also, I don't want him to be in all these dumb franchises. 
That's Max von Sydow. So, where are, where are they right now? They're in Jakku. It's Jakku, which... Oh, fuck. See, That's I'm not a Star Wars fan. You keep saying <laughs> I am, but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, you literally have a Stormtrooper helmet as your avatar, but... <laughs> yes, that means everything. <laughs> Doesn't mean that Stormtroopers are just fantastic, timeless visual... Yeah, what do you think of this redesign of the Stormtroopers? Yeah, they're fine. I think the armor still look kind of clunky. Yeah. I think they, they could have done something there. Although, I guess you can't do that much because they got to move somehow. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you look at plated armor, like, there is... They, they don't cover the entire leg, obviously, because then you couldn't move it. I think the, uh, I think the costumes... I think they need a neck. I think if they had a neck, they would look a lot better. Because as is, they sort of look... It, it looks like the costume is getting a bit in their way. Hmm. So what I... I, I remember disliking this movie because it has so many plot contrivances. Yes. But I didn't watch... I didn't read the title crawl again. So you gotta have to tell, have to tell me what the fuck they're looking for right now. All right, so... So Max von Sydow had this. It's a key or a map. It's ah, not yes. a key. Oh, it's the, the part of what leads them to Luke Skywalker, right? Yes, he found this map, and now uh, they're trying to find Luke Skywalker and with this map. Right. And Leia sent Oscar Isaacs because she trusted him to get it. You know, it's strange to me that uh, Star Wars telecommunications technology, why doesn't he just transmit the information on the map from his X-Wing? Yeah, uh, maybe someone could hack the stream. Yeah, maybe. I suppose. Who do you think... Uh, I wonder, with these uh, costumes, it's really interesting how that plastic aesthetic has sort of been maintained in these movies. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they, they, they look somewhere between modern and old, and it's weird. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Here comes the best character. Oh yeah. Yeah, probably. Like he's the only character who has some kind of development. Yeah. In this I entire agree. fucking trilogy. Like, look at that guy with the red sho- with the shoulder pads. They, they. It looks like there's a neck missing on them. Hmm. Huh. There he is. People dislike when he uh, when he has the mask on, but not the hood. I think he looks good both times. Gonna have to see for myself. Look how old you've become. Max von Sydow has been an 80-year-old man since the 80s. <laughs> he played uh, in The Exorcist. I think his character was like 90 years old. He's always been ancient. I don't know about this scene. Max von Sydow is a bit smug. <laughs> He's about to die. He yeah, shouldn't be. Like, who, who says this? You cannot det- deny the truth that is your family. That's a bit... Uh... That's dumb. He has a lightsaber. Yeah. I love Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Oh, he's what he was holding him too. <clears throat> I I would love it if it didn't have those dumb handles. Although I, I love guess the handles. They, they, they kind of make sense. I mean, you want a sword with handles. Yeah, but even then, like the handles, they don't like they are attached to blades. I think the handles are explained that they're uh, ve- they come from vents because of some excess energy or some crap. From the kyber crystals in the blade, but that's kind of dumb. I mean, yeah, you, you want a sword like it's supposed to to if the blade of the other sword keeps like going down, it just cuts going the down, it, it's gonna hit your hands. That's <laughs> why you know. want them. But I like it. I think it's cool. What do you think of Captain Phasma? What a wasted character! Such a good actress. Kind of like that she never took off her helmet. Yeah. It's like, what is the guy that, that played 
<laughs> I was just going to say, what is that guy that played that guy in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> um, God, I'm terrible with names. They're like Dread in the 2011. Oh, Carl Urban. Carl Urban, yeah, who never took off his helmet. See, I, he would be a better Solid Snake than Oscar Isaac. He would, yeah. He's a bit gruff, considering he'd also have to play Liquid, but he, he'd be a good choice. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start drinking now. <laughs> I already <laughs> thought to myself... We're not like, even 10 minutes in. <laughs> I'm going to need beer for this. I'm going oh, to need... He says Kojima. That's a little Metal Gear Solid <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, Kojima and J.J. Abrams are apparently friends. Kojima's friends with everyone. Yeah, he's such a friendly guy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need wine for the next movie and then just like scotch or vodka <laughs> for, for episode nine, I think. <laughs> uh, for the record, I'm just drinking water and coffee. Can you... Can, it's like, what is it over at your place? Like six o'clock? Ah, it's seven thirty. It's not a time for coffee. What do you mean? It's always time for coffee. No, don't you need to sleep at some point? Yeah, I'll just have a bit of coffee before I go to sleep, and I'll go to sleep. <laughs> That's <you>. fine. <laughs> That's healthy. See, why does she get a metal armor? Everybody else is wearing hard plastics from the 70s. Yeah, I don't know. I like her cape. Capes are so dumb. What are you they're, talking about? So capes cool. are incredible. Yeah, I, I like capes. My favorite type of cape is like in One Piece when they wear a jacket like a cape. Oh, they're like in Yu-Gi-Oh! when they do the same thing. That's so fucking cool. That's like the <laughs> coolest thing. It's 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 cool in anime. It's not cool in real life. And it never makes sense that it never flies off yeah. while they're <laughs> jumping around. <laughs> Yukio has scenes where they they wear that on like a blimp with a lot of wind. <laughs> uh. Now this is Ray. She's the main character of this franchise. Of this what? trilogy. Look at her. But she's a lady. How can she be the protagonist? Hey, do you think maybe Phasma was supposed to be a reverse Samus Aran? Where she like takes off takes off the mask and it's a guy? No, because she clearly has a woman's voice. Yeah, you don't it's know. That, maybe it's a voice change. Everyone changer. knows her voice. It's that that Gwendolyn Christie. Gwendolyn Christie. Not everybody knows her voice. Of course, she's famous now. Oh, that's true. I like Ray. I think. Uh, you do. I think she's. I think she's cool. Uh, I think she's I don't severely think... underwritten. Yeah, but that's that's these movies, you know. Yeah. It's sort of like uh, these are. I like so what 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 Star Wars do you like? What Star Wars do I like? Yeah, I like it when Star Wars is closer to Flash Gordon and Buck Rogers and that sort of I like silly Star Wars a lot more than uh serious Star Wars. I like Star Wars when it's like going to random planets and dealing with like the fauna and flora and the weird animals. So like Star Trek Star Wars. <laughs> exactly. No, but they're not scientific about it. I just yeah. think a lot of the stuff looks really cool. Like there's a yeah. planet early on in um, what was the recent Star Wars game? Uh, for Jedi, Jedi Fallen, Fallen Order, Order. Where there's just, you know, it's this, this weird green planet with a bunch of r weird rocks that you traverse. And then you see this giant creature in the distance that is just sunbathing. That's what I like in Star Wars. Yeah. It's fun creatures and cool visuals. Uh, Simon Peck. How does this portion economy work? <laughs> what is a portion? Is it food? Yes, you make spread from it. That's... That seems dumb. Yeah. This shot, is this not a shot from episode four? Like, literally exactly that? 
No. I swear it, they have the same thing with like the the endless dunes and the red sun and there's a oh, structure. Oh, there is a scene where Lu- Luke is driving his uh, sans- his speeder. Uh, maybe it looked a bit similar. Look at this. Do you know how they did this scene? Hmm. It's a practical effect. Whoa. So the bread is like a balloon that they just inflate, and then there are holes in the bowl from which the water went down in. I see. That was a good effect. Yeah. I, I always find it kind of... I mean, obviously they have to cut, but it's always so obvious when they cut because, you know, she can't eat that because it's a balloon. <laughs> but also in, in action scenes and, and that stuff, when it's clearly, oh, this is a stunt double, and then they they don't look to the camera, and then they cut, and suddenly you see the reactor again. It's, it's become incredibly obvious to me. Yeah. A real but, actress would have eaten the balloon. <laughs> well, they, then need her to eat it. Uh. Poor BB-8. Oh well, this is this is a nice coincidence, one of many. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, BB-8 was having a fit right in front of his house, uh, in, in front of her house. I like that beast. I like its and weird ATST head. Yeah. Oh, that's just Tito. He has no respect for anyone. <laughs> How many times have you watched this fucking movie? <laughs> I have subtitles on. I'm just... <laughs> oh, so you're like a second in front of me. Oh, I am. Hold on. Yeah. I'll fix that. There we go. <laughs> I, don't want, I, don't, I don't want you to get the idea that I'm some massive Force Awakens nerd. <laughs> See, she's telling him all this information. Stay off Calvin Rich. and But he doesn't know. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything to him. <laughs> I mean, it's Calvin's Rich. It's that, that weird sand <laughs> thing over there. <laughs> You're gonna, you'll see it. You can't miss it. Oh, it's like a, it's like a sand dune. You can't miss it. Why, kinda, did the, why did Tito give up BB-8 so easily? I don't know. It's weird. Why wouldn't he just shoot Ray? Yeah, like tell her to fuck off. <laughs> maybe they have a. Like, maybe well, what they right does she it. have to to <laughs> claim the fucking android? <laughs> That's a good point. Maybe uh, maybe uh, there's sort of a fan theory that the Star Wars universe, there's incredible racism in it, human racism, because humans are the best species in the Star Wars universe. They always lead everything. Maybe that's just the way this planet works, Jakku. Mm. Because I want to make the human. point that we don't even know if humans are called humans in this universe. Yeah, I don't think true. anyone ever says humans. Uh, poor Oscar Isaacs. You know, they did a lot of... Uh, they, there's a lot of scenes in the original Star Wars. I saw it not that long ago. And we talked about it a few weeks ago on the podcast. There's a lot of scenes in that movie which are really weird... Um, which you wouldn't see in a movie now, like that scene where that guy is intimidating Darth Vader for some reason in the board meeting. Mm. Uh, And that stuff, I feel like, uh, see, that's the sort of stuff which I think a lot of people overlook about the old movies. They were very sort of silly in their own way. Um, Well, I mean, it's good that Vader isn't, you know, he's not the savior of the galaxy. Some people didn't even respect him, you know. No, but it's not even that. It's Darth Vader's like, ah, oh, your death, your star, uh, your Death Star is no match to the power of the Force, and the guy's like, don't try to intimidate us, you f- you nerd. <laughs> your <laughs> Force hasn't been able to find the Death Star plans, you loser. Yeah. 
Is that a lot? Like that's mm, she, she got like a quarter portion portion yeah. for for a whole day's work. Yeah, but I imagine like wh- why would you care? What you you have sixty portions, so you don't have to work for like half a year. What are you gonna do? Mm. Just <laughs> stay, hang in the desert. I suppose you'll be a bit ahead on your portions. <laughs> Fucking yeah, there was like a whole queue waiting. <laughs> they can all fuck off yeah. now. <laughs> we closed. Uh, see, he he. They look weird. They don't have necks. Yeah, but you you don't want your neck exposed. That's true. I like that line. I can fly anything. He's like a hot shot. Oh, so heroic. Yeah. I always figured everyone in the Star Wars universe knows how to pilot the ship. Yeah. There's another fan theory that uh, people in the Star Wars universe can't read. Uh, And that's because... uh, Nothing is ever like like where's where is anything written here? Like look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at this ship. There's no instructions. It's just a bunch of lights. Yeah. Like how do you how would you begin to pilot this thing? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like I can fly anything. Can you? Like it seems to me like you'd have to spend 10 years learning just the basics of how to pilot this. It's true, there's no text anywhere. I love how uh, they brought back the crusty old British guys for this movie. <laughs> they were in control of the Empire in the original. Oh, God. Did you hear the Wilhelm scream? Yes. What a fun throwback. <laughs> I think every scream in these movies should be a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how did they not close the bay? Can you tell me that? It's going to take like well, two seconds. How the fuck? The movie how, are, how is not everyone in that hangar flying out into space? Well, they shot at them. No, but there's no force field. Surely the vacuum of space would, like, suck them in? Uh, oh, you mean, uh, I thought you meant flying on a TIE fighter. No, I no mean, there's, like, the there's there. like an energy shield. But they flew through the energy energy shield. Yeah, you can fly through an energy shield. And there there was no effect or anything. No, but it's the, like same energy... as with, it's the same as with the uh, with the Death Star when the Falcon went in. There's no, like, there's no vacuum in space in Star Wars, except when there is. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like an energy shield that's supposed to stop the vacuum of space and stop people from flying out would also keep a ship out or in. No, you depending can fly on where through you it. Are. It's the way the Falcon went into the Death Star. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> Do you know what this actor's name is? Who? The redhead guy. General Hux. Hux. No. His name is Donald Gleason. Okay. Do you know how you spell that? G L E E S O N? No, the first name. Like Donald? Yeah. Do you know how you spell that? No. D O M. Yeah, N H A L L. Domn Hall. Domn Hall. Pronoun- yeah, oh. it's like Ray- it's like Ray Fines, but it's spelled Ralph. Get a real name is what I'm saying. <laughs> you mean Ralph Fiennes? Yeah. We can't go back to Jakku. Was Jakku in Star Wars before this? No. Huh. Do you remember when uh, this movie was in in pre-production? J.J. Abrams had a like a contest for two characters, like a boy and a girl in their late teens, early twenties. Uh, like a boy and a girl, and 
I wonder, are they in the movie? Somebody assumably won, but then he he and Lawrence Cast then rewrote the script. <laughs> and I wonder if they suck. just wrote them out. <laughs> Oh no. That was the one of the first scenes we saw from this movie. In the trailers. I remember watching that and thinking, that's not real. Because it kind of looked like a fan movie. <laughs> With uh, uh, John Boyega in the desert. What? See, how do you, th how do you what? think this happens? How, what is this view screen? Or like the, the window? It, it was like <laughs> paper. Yeah. That's not going to keep the forces of space out. What do you know? <laughs> Have you ever been to space? <laughs> <laughs> the shit was like ripped paper. Yeah. Well... See, the only way Oscar Isaacs would have survived is if he he had already left. And if he did, why did he leave his jacket? Yeah, why would he leave and not look for Finn? Yeah. That's weird to me. Originally, I mean, clearly he trusts him. He, talk, he told him about Skywalker. Yeah, and all, even if he doesn't trust him, like, what's he just gonna not going to get his help? But you know, that is a good point. Uh, they could have just tricked Oscar Isaac into retrieving the map. This could have all been a massive ruse by uh, Finn. <laughs> I love those, uh, those, what are they called? Moisture harvesters in Star Wars. That's Finn. Yeah. Imagine living there. Yeah, I, I often wonder with this, like, what what do you do in this universe? Yeah, I have no idea. When you're not just fulfilling prophecies and stuff. Like, this guy standing on the computer right now, what is his job? He just <laughs> looks at buttons all day? <laughs> have you ever seen Austin Powers? <laughs> have you? Yeah, I've seen Austin Powers. Yeah. <laughs> there's that one great joke and I think it's Austin Powers 3 and like Austin Powers' father comes in and you there, henchman who's pressing randomly random buttons stop <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, what is he saying like pressing random buttons to, to look busy <laughs> <laughs> uh. this is a good joke Is this, is it though? Is this a good joke? Is this a joke? He's just drinking disgusting water. Yeah. Like, I am, like, who, who owns this well? Are they okay no with idea. this, with this monster just filthying up the water? Yeah, no idea. It makes no sense. Especially in like this fucking rough planet. Yeah, I would imagine like I mean, a class of that is worth a million dollars. For like weird animals? Look at this. She's a total badass. <laughs> That's a good look. They work for Ankar. Who's Ankar? BB-8, the design seems so impractical. Like yeah, he, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't be able to climb so many fucking. Well, he has those grappling geometry. cables. You know what's funny about BB-8? R2D2 has like jetpacks and oil wells and flamethrowers and shit. BB-8 has grappling hooks and like a little lighter and that little sapper, I guess. Like, why doesn't he have more stuff? The designs make no sense either way. <laughs> they just have what they need for the movie. Yeah. Well, 
what sort of relationship can you have with a robot? Also, why why design them so they just make these beeps? You, you can design robots to yeah, speak that, English. Yeah, that makes no sense. They kind of pretend like it's a language, but they're service units. Why not give them proper voices? Well, they're astro- those are astromech droids. I, like, is this how a spaceship talks? And if that's the case, why doesn't it just speak English? Yeah. Like in Star Trek when they have the computer and they ask it questions. Oh, you, oh, you mean in uh, Star Trek Picard? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> There's no... No, they, they got rid of that shit. I don't know why. Oh. Hey, I got a message. Is it Daniel? No, it's a comment. Mad? It's a comment on my Morrowind video. Oh. You ruined the beautiful Morrowind music in the opening with your voice. <laughs> 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 that I did. Asshole. <laughs> Why is he holding her hand? It's really it's a really awkward introduction for them. Because he's like touching her a lot. It's also in the ship later when he's climbing no, she, and he just puts his hand on his, her face. Why is he pushing him? <laughs> he was out of your way. What are you doing? <laughs> you also, know, get an airstrike. Yeah, if you like, could do why an airstrike. Two stormtroopers. See, he's like touching both of them. It's really, yeah. oh, it's, it's so awkward. Touchy. Like, where's she gonna run? Let go of her hand. Also, just two Tie Fighters. That's good. Yeah, they have a whole fleet. You know, I don't think the original Star Wars trilogy had a single moment where a guy was blown away by an explosion. And I think every one of these movies has him. You didn't see that back in the day. Yeah, in the original, they're just like lasers. And yeah. they, they are very focused. How can she pilot something? Doesn't she live on like a sand planet? I I don't know. That's why I always assumed that everyone knows how to fly a spaceship. Ah. Because everyone usually does. Oh look! It's the what a coincidence! Falcon. It has a it has a new di- uh, dish. Because the last one was blown off in the Death Star run. Wow! What a detail. Surely that was just it? a uh, used to sell toys. And then it has a circular dish again in the next one. Oh my god, I'm going to put my phone on silent. How does she know the f- ship hasn't flown? What? <laughs> Why the fuck? How did it get there? <laughs> yeah, I also like how she can just get the ship going without keys or anything. Yeah. And it's just open for some reason. Like it's... How has the ship not ship not been stripped for parts? Yeah. When it's standing there for years. This is like a bike someone forgot at the the My fucking train portions. station. <laughs> hey, do you think maybe the portions he produces them from his body? It's like some weird alien biology. <laughs> that would break the economy. <laughs> Well, you don't know. Maybe he's the only one. He has a monopoly. Some creatures lay egg, he lays weird portions. Man, the Star Wars pilots, like the Empire pilots, always look cool as fuck. Mm Mm-hmm. Go. Go, Finn. Get him. Like, what is this interface? Yeah, that... Yeah. I'm missing the... Din, din, de, 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 de music. Yeah. It's a bit... The, uh, the music in it, in these new movies, it's 
I think some tracks are good. I like race theme, but there's a lot of just generic sort of whimsy in it. Like this. This isn't. It's not. It's, there's nothing to this song, to this no. music. Also, why why would you why would you f- go flying inside of a star destroyer when you have the disadvantage? You're on the bigger ship. Well, I guess he knew the interior, so. I would try I to get into space, this. honestly. Yeah. Well, you'd just be chased down. Well, you, you know, there's meteors and shit. Yeah. There's another. There's another cannon on the top side, Finn. What are you? What are you? An <laughs> idiot, J.J. Ship, Abrams? You, know? you could have J.J. Abrams. You could have done much better fan service if he'd taken the upper one. He doesn't know that. And then he would have pressed the button, and it would have just be, played a recording of Han Solo going, "Yeah." Great job, kid. Don't get cocky. From the first movie, <laughs> do you remember that? I remember that. <laughs> nah, that's pretty good. I always these wonder movies... how they know where to fly in these. Like, how well, does she know the she, uh, insides are big she enough? She scavenged this place pretty extensively. No, but that's always a thing in Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Like, in the Crystal Caves. The Force. Yeah. What are you talking about? I actually like that. I think that's pretty good. Or when they go into the... Like when she turns the ship upside down. Where, where, they, where they see the Minox and then they fly into the creature. Yeah. Yeah, that's another one. There's no uh, vacuum in the Minox. Yeah. Otherwise, everything would just fly out. The thing had its own gravity and atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. See, that's what I like. I like that sort of silly... 1940s space serials. Yeah. Also, why does he keep lying? Why isn't he just like, yeah, no, I just met, I just met Paul. Yeah. <laughs> why lie? Oh, it's because he's in love. See, again, where would you even begin to fix this? Like, look at the interior. Look at look at this. Like, one part of this ship breaks. What do oh you got? You just have to replace I it. I watched the Picard season fin- finale yesterday, and they had the dumbest fucking thing when something in the ship broke. <laughs> like they had a they had a, a like a tool, and you have to imagine how you're fixing it like they didn't know (laughs) how to fix it and they said the the fusing thing is defused how do i fix that and you just imagine them being fused and then use it and that's how it worked i imagine star trek would just have oh we have a 3d printer we'll just print the part they did they did have that in the original where they had it's called a blade of armor and they replicate armor as soon as the ship is hit was really See, strong. that's that's clever. Yeah. Also, I like here how Kylo Ren just went AWOL on the uh, control panel. Like, he doesn't kill the guy like Darth Vader. Yeah. Because it's not really his fault. That's sensible. It's the motivator. How can she not hear this? (laughs) So many questions. What do you think of his jacket? What do you think of Poe's jacket? Uh, It's fine. I wouldn't wear it. I don't think I could wear it. No. It's it's a bit uh, cosplay-y. He doesn't look like a Star Wars character there. He looks like just a regular guy in jeans. <laughs> That's a good scene. Give him the thumbs up. Isn't this a funny exchange? <laughs> the one her pointing, she's pointing to? 
What is this tape? How does she know how the ship functions? She's never been out of out of Jakku. It's the Force. What are you talking about? <laughs> Well, you know what? Actually, she's like a scavenger, so maybe she would have picked up some engineering skills from picking apart uh, coll- of collapsed ships. See, that's, here's the scene I'm talking yeah. about. Look at how uncomfortable Finn makes it when he puts her, his hand on her face. Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> well, it's comedy. He didn't get any extra sturdiness from doing that. That's... Sex is so weird, these two characters. <laughs> they sometimes have no there's chemistry. romantic undertones. Sometimes he's just an oaf. Yeah. And they're like buddy buddy. I don't get it. Yeah, I, I don't think these two have any chemistry together. I think they're fine independently. Finn got. <laughs> That's pretty good. Like, suddenly it's all comic hijinks. It hasn't been for like half an hour. No. <laughs> like, why does he just drop BB-8 on him? BB-8 has a grapple hook. Just let him <laughs> go down. Oh, here come the Scots. Oh, wait, it's that guy. Uh, it's that guy. Do you think Chewbacca should have had some gray in the temples? Hmm, that would look okay. Maybe yeah. Wookiees get really old. Yeah, they do. They live for like 200 years. <clears throat> I think Chewbacca is 200 years old in the original trilogy. And I mean, I've seen older Wookiees. Like in real life? Yes. <laughs> they have There's a lot of like 1% Germany. Wookiee population in Germany. <laughs> Close the border, that's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's so good. He's so good in this movie. And it's so effortless. See, he says... Um, you you tell him that, girl who I've never met, who I don't... <laughs> who I'm not going to take back to the planet. <laughs> You remember the Kessel Run? I remember. I've never I seen Solo. Too. Maybe should, we should do a commentary on that. I've never seen that either. Oh. Huh. Do we do Rogue One? I don't want to watch Rogue Run. Rogue nah, One is so bad. I it's such a bore. Like I think that's a. I think visually that's the most beautiful Star Wars movie, because it's like. It, yeah, I think it's a, like a really it's beautiful. Also the most depressing. Like yeah, but it's also movie. it's also the most boring one. Yeah. And the most pointless one. Yeah. They wasted Lars... Uh, they, no, they wasted Matt Mickelson. Lars Mickelson is his they less really talented did. brother. Did you know Lars Mickelson voices Thrawn in the uh, Rebels TV show? No, because I've never seen that. It's fine. Chris Avalon loves it. I think it's okay. Yeah, I knew him. A new look. A Yeah. Why? Oh, Why are you right, doing that? Freda. I love how he, uh, Han Solo, he's like an old man. He's got his shirt tucked into his pants. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't back when he was young and cool. But wait a minute. He just said, don't even think about taking the Falcon. Earlier, he said the Millennium Falcon. What does he switch? I, what can I tell you? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes Scott. Yeah. And then we get uh, the gang from... What's that movie? 
We are a dead man solo. Oh. You know, teak is Icelandic for bitch. So he just said bala bitch. <laughs> uh, the Kanji Club guys. What? What's the movie's name? Why can't I remember? What? They from that movie, that Indonesian action movie. The Raid? Yeah, The Raid. Okay. I'm pretty good that I got that the first try. There they are. That's The Raid, guys. The Raid. Candy Club. Oh, yeah. That little guy. Uh, he oh, plays yeah. Mad I, Dog. I know that, that guy on the right. Anyway, I like, well, obviously. He's, but... he's the main guy. And the little guy is the uh, little guy from those movies. I haven't seen The Raid in a long time, but I've seen a bunch of other movies with him. The Night Comes for Us. Wonderful, wonderful martial arts movie. Incredibly brutal. <laughs> I like the red helmets those guys behind uh, uh, Balatik are wearing. <laughs> <laughs> that guy that just stepped up and looked like a Borg. <laughs> how? How does she know? How? Also, why? Why would what? resetting the fuses do that? Well, yeah. was wrong anyway, <laughs> so. Hey, he set the line. You wouldn't sedate those. Yeah. Yeah. Like why would you why would you have an opening mechanism like under the grating of the floor for this thing? That's <laughs> so weird. That was the get fucked button. She pressed. See, so oh, we had to give them so... something to say. Why not just stay down there? Seems a lot safer. You seem you seem to get everywhere. She again, he just drags her. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> What's the point of this scene? To pretend that he's in danger and make it exciting? No, the point the point is that they're supposed to be stuck on the Falcon together. Because Han Solo would have just sent them back and then taken the Falcon. Yeah, well. How does this end? I was thinking she's getting force powers now, but No, that happens later. This ends with uh, them all going on the Falcon together and flying away. But they were like yeah, you don't need this. They were on the Falcon. Yeah, but they also have this freighter. Yeah. This is this is unnecessary. What happens to the freight? Well, I'm going to see, but... Well, they just ditch it. This is really unnecessary. Yeah. Like, why are you guys still fighting? There are monsters on board. <laughs> like, what is this guy? Like, that guy who shot Chewie, this guy... What does he? What skin in the game does he have to be continuing this battle? <laughs> well, he needs the droid. Oh yeah. But wait, Han Solo does. Oh yeah, he does. He has the droid. Do the rookie bowcasters really need those things on the side? Do they have any yeah, function? Yeah, those are. I think those are like where the energy is stored. That's so <laughs> dumb. I guess <laughs> that's so dumb. Well, you know, the Star Wars universe, it's like f it's like form over function in a lot of ways. <laughs> Chewy, it's called maintaining a style, Bogan. Hey, I get it, it's a callback. 
How many people? There were like maybe 10 people in the freighter. Yeah. Most also, of them are has, dead. Why are they has, leaving? Has that ever worked, shooting at a ship that's taking off? <laughs> I feel like they've done they've yeah. had that scene in every one of these movies and it never works. See, he says Falcon. I guess no one died. Oh. That's Star Killer Base. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Did you know Star Killer uh the planet it was filmed in Iceland? I knew. When they which, were filming. Which scene? The uh, scene at the end. All the outside stuff of the... Uh, well, that was probably filmed in a studio. But the exterior shots of Starkiller Base, that's Iceland. Hmm. I can always tell. It's the same with uh, Civil War. That final, when they're in Russia in the end, that's Iceland. Yeah. They just shot a bunch of aerial shots and then put that on a green screen. What do you think of Snoke? Do you have to ask? <laughs> oh, I know you like him. Oh yes. That's what that that's what that uh question of yours meant. <clears throat> Imagine if Daniel was here, he'd just be we'd just be talking, listening to him talking about fate <laughs> stay night all day. <laughs> I think this girl is the best girl. He says Falcon. Probably knows who his father is, but okay. Yeah. Also, who else was his father going to be on that ship? Chewbacca? <laughs> they should have just made it Plagueis. What are they thinking? That must have been the original plan. You don't just name a guy Snoke. That's stupid. Really is. See, like, again, how do you know that? Yeah, You're just it's... looking at blinking lights. I want to know how Ray knows this. How does he... Does he not know what a fucking Wookiee is? Seem kind of big. <laughs> you know, John Boyega is a bit, uh, he's a bit hyperactive in this movie, now that I look at it again. He's the comic bit, relief. Yeah, it, but it's a bit like kind of scenery chewing, you know? <laughs> okay, then. That's good. Move, ball. Get it? It's a callback. Why? I don't know. When did you first see this movie? When it came out? Yeah. Me too. What did you think of it then? You hated it. Why? I didn't hate it, but... I found it, like... Overall, just mediocre. And there were a lot of scenes that really annoyed me. Like, a lot of conveniences. Mm. Where I just... The script had to get them from A to B, and no one cared how they got there. Yeah. That's because of your bad parenting, Han Solo. I actually really like that scene in, uh, in The Last Jedi where Luke is about to kill Kylo Ren. He's conflicted. Yeah. The Last Jedi is the best of these new movies. It Pretty has much problems. By well, it has yeah. a lot of problems, but yeah. I don't get people who like. I get people who dislike it, but it, uh, surely you have to see that it's the best one, even well, though it no, does have a lot of crap. They don't care about like doing something new or any sort of critique of the franchise. They fucking want to see their, their heroes. Oh, yeah. They want to see Luke Skywalker with apps.
This is our stop. Ay ay ay. Oh, my coffee's going down, so now I'm getting a bit uh, sleepy. We'll see how this <laughs> do, develops. Do you really just get sleepy the moment your coffee runs out? Yeah. I drink a lot of coffee. I didn't know no, there was this much green problem. in the galaxy. I didn't know there was this much green in the whole this galaxy. This looks like, like Naboo. The one shot of Naboo. Yeah. Kind of. Look at how dirty the Falcon is. Han Solo's had it for like 10 minutes and it's already dirty. <laughs> I'm sure the other guy didn't take care of it at all. No, I mean, it was in the desert and stuff, but it's like gotten noticeably brown. Why does he keep lying about this? I don't understand. <laughs> It's kind of sexist. I'm sure there are dumb women out there. No. I don't think there are. All women are queen, like that uh, fat guy said when he had that lightsaber. <laughs> Do you think they CGI'd Han Solo's face a bit here? I don't think so. Looks a bit. I found it really no noticeable in the Irishman. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch that. See, that's why. Why? Yeah. And Solo, why is he offering a job to like a twenty-year-old girl? That's really pervy. He doesn't like anybody. She has Why? to go back to that hole in the ground. What's, what's home? What is there? <laughs> Your fucking village blew up. <laughs> sure they're all dead by now. Why? Have they had any... They didn't no. have <laughs> any scene together. Well, maybe he's lying. He's saying that, but it's actually he who likes her. Because he's a pervert. That's a oh. practical effect, that robot. Did you know that? No, but that's a guy on stilts. I like it. Yeah. Do you like uh, all the flags? What do they mean? One of the flags is Anakin Skywalker's pod racing flag. What? One of them is uh, Boba Fett's Mandalorian symbol. Why? Because there are Cause... only two flags in this entire franchise. <laughs> Oh, we really are going scene by scene through A New Hope. This is so annoying. <laughs> That's Lupita Nyong'o. She's like a legitimately good actress. Why does he like that Wookiee? <laughs> Just got to fill the time somehow. Got to have a say words. I like that girl. She's very Flash Gordon. <laughs> that's very, that's very 1950s sci-fi costume she's wearing. Why would that girl fall for that alien? You don't judge, it's kind, man. Kind of weird. But did you notice that the? Uh, the the hot girl was the bad one and the disgusting robot was the good one. It's a commentary on uh, not not judging people. What is up with her eyebrows? <laughs> Such a Star Trek design. <laughs> they, have to look, Trek. they have to look humanoid, but we got to do something with her face. Your Star Trek used to just do like, oh, it's a, it's another, it's an alien species. They look exactly like humans, but they have a blue dot on their foreheads, right? They have a, they have a bump on their chin. I don't know. <laughs> that's so dumb. But, you know, that's the era. Yeah, they didn't have a budget. 
that's a, this is a really good thing i i feel uh this scene and his conflict like again he is so good in this but why doesn't anakin just appear as a ghost and talk to him <laughs> well what you started what did he start what did he start um the eradication of every yeah mm. yeah what did he start <laughs> see, see it's a cool line but it doesn't mean anything but well yeah of course the eradication taking over the, the entire galaxy i guess no that's palpatine i i suppose his is the eradication of the jedi yeah but i don't know i mean he was part of the death star building and yeah. Blowing up, Cor- what is it, Coruscant? Was it Coruscant? Alderaan. No. Alderaan. You're thinking of oh, Alderaan Coruscant is blowing up in this, in this movie. No, it doesn't. It's uh, it's another planet. It's been what? confirmed. Yeah. Coruscant, I believe, is still alive in canon, huh. unfortunately. We fucking dumped the Star Wars Expanded Universe for this shit. (laughs) (laughs) See, I think the original script was a lot more, uh, was a lot closer to Timothy Zahn's Expanded Universe. See, why is he doing this? Why does she have to be awkward too? Yeah, wow. He, he Very... literally just told you that he doesn't <laughs> want to fight. <laughs> what what insight? <laughs> she had to go really close to tell that. She had to make it awkward for everybody. <laughs> like he's weirdly aggressive to her too. It's weird. Yeah, Finn's very inconsistent, I feel like. Why? Two words. <laughs> Why does anybody want to do anything in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> like, why do you think you'll be safer just with some smugglers? Just some scum of the earth? You're probably likelier to die with them. He kind of has given up on pretending like he's a hotshot resistance fighter. Yeah. So also, why is she when... conflicted? She's only known him for like a day, yeah. if that. Remember when Poe Dameron was in this movie? <laughs> Yeah, this would be much. This would be a lot more fun if it was him, sort of trying make to more outsmart sense. Han Solo. It would make may, way more sense if it was Poe. Yeah. But you can't have him and Han Solo on the screen at the same time. They're both so smarmy. <laughs> Your screen's gonna explode. Look at how thin her neck is. Look at it. Look, you can... I have a thin neck too. Not that I don't know thin. what to tell you. Oh. Is that why you have the Stormtrooper helmet? To hide it? Yes. <laughs> you know, I have, a, I have an announcement to make. I actually have a pretty thin neck myself. Oh my God, you hypocrite. <laughs> Bye. I think he should have gone in for a kiss and then stopped being in the movie. I think that would be better. <laughs> Just sort of close the chapter on this awkward character relationship <laughs> the two of them have. Uh, look, she's hearing the force for some reason. Oh, the, the lightsaber? 
of Luke Skywalker that randomly yeah. is there. Yeah. That was one of those things where I was like, why the fuck would that <laughs> possibly be the case? Do you know what happened to the lightsaber in the original extended universe? I believe it was found by Palpatine's guys, and then uh, Jor Kabath or Kadath or whatever his name was, he cloned Luke Skywalker from the hand, and he gave the clone the lightsaber and had Luke fight clone Luke. And it was fucking I awesome. Honestly, don't want to hear the word cloning in Star Wars ever again. <laughs> But that was like before the Clone Wars. That was written before we knew about the Clone Wars and stuff. And that was just been... I don't even mind the Clone Wars. I mind episode 9. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you know, the Expanded Universe also had Palpatine cloning himself. And jumping into a bunch of clone bodies. Great. This isn't the first time Star Wars uh, continuations have lost their ideas, <laughs> lost steam. Why is this in a unlocked box in this basement randomly? Also, this doesn't mean anything to her. Why? Why? Yeah. To her, this could just be a flashlight. Yeah. But see, the, she's drawn by the Force. Yeah, she's she's canonically Palpatine's granddaughter, right? Yes. Why would she see the battle on Bespin? Why would she be seeing this? It, I guess it's the lightsaber. Well, no, it's not the lightsaber's memories, because the lightsaber has nothing to do with this. Didn't the lightsaber belong to Obi-Wan? Yeah, for it, it's, Anakin's guy, it's Anakin's old lightsaber, which Obi-Wan gave to Luke. But wasn't that Luke touching R2-D2? Yeah. So but that, that was after. Sense. That was after he lost the lightsaber. Ray? But then why would that memory of Luke be imprinted in the lightsaber? I don't know. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> starting to think this doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm starting to think they didn't plan ahead or they planned ahead and changed their minds. That lightsaber is with looks. What's a lightsaber, lady? Why? Look at her little uh, sphincter eyes. <laughs> butthole eyes. Crater. That's her, ca that's her uh, character. She, she looks at eyes. <laughs> You're supposed to use a lot of repetition to enforce characteristics. It's good for characterization. You're supposed to do it three times. Does she talk about ice again? What What did she just... Did she just tell her that her parents aren't coming back? I think so. Oh. I'm no Jedi, but How I know the Force. How does she know about this? What the hell is the Force? Oh, there's no answer. <laughs> See, I feel like it changes with every movie exactly what it is. Of course, it's a plot device. <laughs> with KOTOR 2, it's sort of insinuated that the Force is just a... Uh, that it's not really a, an energy in the universe. It's more so just a metaphor for your relationship with the world around you. And that you reach the dark side of the force when you corrupt your relationship with the natural world and stuff. And that's great. But what the hell is this? Also, she's not wearing a bra. And it's very not noticeable. <laughs> I'm sure Jakku does not have lingerie shops. I love this. He's just a Nazi. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. I remember seeing this the first time and being like, why would you present yourself like this? Yeah, like, see, this is this is all Iceland if it's not uh, CGI. But yeah, the, the guys, surely they realize that they're the bad guys there. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at how angry he is. <laughs> Bring an end to the Senate. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus! This, this is, is a bit so excessive. blatant. You know what, though? They're not, they're not human racists. Like, they have women and uh, black people working for them. So they're a bit more progressive than the old empire, <laughs> which was just a bunch of crotchety old white guys. So even, even the First Order has gotten uh, a bit more social development. What's the word? Tolerant. Tolerance. Look at this. Look at this How lens fucking flare. fucking this thing fire? Endlessly. They had to... They, they were pretty close when they blew up Alderaan. Yeah. <sighs> That's a good thing the, uh, the beams warped at the exact right time. Yeah, it's not so Coruscant. It's not Coruscant, huh? It's not Coruscant. It's like another planet for some reason. I feel like she was just in the first order base. <laughs> when I first saw the movie, I thought, was that Lupita Nyongo? Because I only <laughs> saw her for like a moment. But no. How can Lupita you Nyong'o. that that makes no sense that you would see the literal planet from the sky blowing up in red. Yeah. Like, if they're close How enough to close see that. How fucking close is everything in this galaxy? <laughs> they did that in Star Trek 2. Like, Star Trek 2009. Oh, yeah, they did. But what that was like, he was on a moon of uh, Vulcan, No, that's right? a lie. Oh! Vulcan has no moon. Didn't you know? Oh, no, I didn't know because also I'm not Vulcan a nerd. is Vulcan is a fucking desert planet, and Spock was in like a ice waste. How the fuck could oh. they be th- so close together? You know, if if Earth was just ten fe- foot closer to the sun, it'd be a desert, and if it was ten feet further away, it'd be frozen. Have you seen that Facebook meme? <laughs> that, that's a Facebook meme. Uh, it's some idiot with his with his garage science. <laughs> Why are you giving him the sword? Like he's the least deserving of all the people there. Why do they need it. a sword anyway? They're blasters. <laughs> the fuck are they gonna do with that? Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> I like I love these movies where what is, hmm oh yeah the dark crystal had that too where the main character like they're just on the run and everywhere they go they meet new people and then 10 minutes later the bad guys blow up those new people <laughs> while they are on the run again like everyone in the in their path dies just because it's the main characters arrive there <laughs> <laughs> That's really good It's a good thing stormtroopers can't hit anyone <laughs> this is very generic music. Yeah. Oh, we're we're gonna get blom, to, blom, to to traitor blom, blom. to tr eight r. Oh yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. They should have brought him back, but he dies. That's a, oh, oh, what is that? that? What an, an, <laughs> oh my god, fuck off. <laughs> How the fuck did they all survive this? The whole they building were in the has been leveled. That is not a good weapon. No, it's not. In this scenario. It's very useless, especially if you're not good enough to deflect bolt of fire. Isn't this a funny joke? 
Well, you we've never used it. You're right. <laughs> Also, that guy could have just killed Finn and yeah. ended it. I don't know. This is better. Even though it's, it's the dumbest thing in the world. It's nice of him to to take out his melee fight. weapon when he could have just shot him, really. See what I mean when I say he doesn't look like a Star Wars character? He just looks like a guy in a jacket and jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that guy is kicking Finn's ass. And he would have done it. Yeah, Finn would be dead. Chewbacca is a bit lighter now that I look at him. He used to be a much more brown. It's a good thing they take hostages. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are looking for Han Solo. So I guess that makes sense. Ah, yeah. Could shoot Chewie, though. And Finn. Why are you flying over the ocean? Why did you just fly straight down to them? This is just us nitpicking, I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, but some of them are pretty severe. Like, some of, some of them are not nitpicks. I mean, Luke's... The Millennium Falcon being there, Luke's lightsaber being there. That is so dumb. Yeah. And that that was what bothered me originally, too. And like, on its own, I find this movie very predictable. Yeah. Like, even, even the individual scenes from a storyboarding standpoint. Like, obviously, he's going to be close to finishing off Finn and then... Someone's going to shoot him. What else is going to happen? You know? There's something missing from this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think they needed a more charismatic lead. There he is. Flying that spaceship. <laughs> Also, why would Kylo Ren be in the jungle? Yeah. I, Is he trying to get the map? Why would he be alone? That's another good question. Why wouldn't he be abducting Han Solo? What the fuck does Ray mean to him? Why is he blocking it with his lightsaber? He can just stop the bolts. Why is he toying around with her? Look at how... Defeated, she looks. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, Stabber, you're done. Why is he hurt the so much? The fuck did he do? S she, she did nothing. <laughs> also, look at how intimidating he is. The thing is, if you haven't killed her already, you're not going to. So you can't really intimidate her like that. Does he not have better things to do right now? Where's the droid? Where is it? Her! <laughs> Everybody else in that scene has seen it. Yeah, the trio. You Han got Solo, Han Finn. Solo. If if he knows he's seen it, doesn't he know that everyone else saw it too? Forget the droid. We have one. Okay. It's nice of him to pick her up before she falls yeah, to the ground. Yeah, just just stab her right there. You don't need her. Or just interrogate her on the spot. You know. No, but Han Solo, you coward! He's your they, son. He's thinking that they got Solo, so she he doesn't need her anymore. Uh, why Why is he to... Why? <laughs> yeah, just yell like an idiot. Also, if you think this is nitpicking, 
be prepared for episode nine. Like, holy <laughs> fuck, dude. I like Oscar Isaac. Uh, he's got, he looks like uh, he's cosplaying as Nathan Drake, you know, all, <laughs> I've, all the footage I've seen from episode nine. Talk to the hand. Face ain't listening. Yeah, f- and Chewie said, yeah, fuck that bitch. They took Ray. Uh oh. There she is. Rest in peace. Man, I, Fisher. I watched some, uh, in preparation for this, I watched some press interviews. Carrie Fisher is so fun. <laughs> yeah. She is so funny. Like, she is random in the best sense of the word. Yeah. Get out of the fucking way. I hate C three PO. He kind of sucks. Do you think she should have lost more weight weight for this movie? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> difficult, I guess, when you get old. Yeah. I'm so afraid of what I'm gonna look when I'm old. I can barely keep my weight right now. <laughs> it's gonna suck so hard. I've been able to work out now for the first time for like a year and a half. Because physical therapy has finally gotten my knee going again. Oh, nice. Leia, I saw our son. Like, did she, did she... Did Carrie Fisher have Botox there? Did they CGI that? I'm sure she uses Botox. Yeah. Who doesn't? Me. I'm the only well, one. Well, you're not rich. Oh! <gasps> you're right. I'd use it all if I could. <laughs> this YouTube thing is just part time until I'm making it big and then I can just lather myself in Botox. No, inject it into myself. That's how it works. Where do you get Botox in the Star Wars galaxy? Probably anywhere. Probably get it from some uh, animal, milk it. Who saved you? I like the redesign of their costumes there. It's sort of tr- it's faithful to the rebel costume in the original movies without looking like they're wearing safety vests. Yeah. That's my jacket. That's so gay. I really care about this jacket, dude. <laughs> It's no wonder the gay community wanted those two to end up together. They are so gay well, together. Keep again, the jacket. Again, episode nine. Oh. They're really, really close in that movie. <laughs> There's something... Yeah, she's not, she's not delivering her A game here. Something missing. <laughs> We're desperate for anything you can tell us. She is, is, yeah, she really is not doing well. This is this, but like this is awkward. That's, that's but you know that's funny. But it's also is he a dog or is he sentient? He's obviously sentient. They have a whole culture. The Wookies. Yeah. He fought in he fought in a he fought in the Clone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> That's she's like pandering to an old man. That was sixty or something no, it's like fifty years before this movie. I only fifty years. No, you know what? It's probably sixty years. It makes no sense that everyone forgot about the Jedi. No. It's only 60 fucking years. Did we forget about the Nazis? No. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's a bad uh, comparison, but... Did we forget about the... There are history the, uh... books. We, we didn't you know forget what? about Napoleon. Yeah. It's sort of funny also in the uh, in episode four when Tarkin is like, Obi- Obi-Wan Kenobi is on board. Surely he'd be dead by now. <laughs> yeah. Woody? We don't know when he you. was born. 
Is he 50? Is he 80? I don't know. Like he's Tarkin is at least 20 years older than Obi Wan. <laughs> Look at this. This is like a guy who knows how to act and Carrie Fisher sharing a scene together. <laughs> And they CGI'd her in uh, Rise of Skywalker. They gave her a shitty CGI de-aging, right? She, just... she was fully CGI. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, no. In but one scene there's like was... a flashback, right? She, there was a CGI flashback, and then she was in one scene, yeah. Yeah. She looked terrible in the CGI flashback, from oh, yeah. what I've seen. I don't... They should... If you but can't... If you can't de-age them perfectly... Remove the scene. It it's terrible. It I think they pretended like it had importance, but well, nothing in that movie has importance. And you know she's dead, so I was okay with that. But they did the same shit in Rogue One, and it looked awful. Yeah. And also, it didn't serve any purpose. No, it did really didn't. We have hope now. It's me, CGI. They could have given, given it to any fucking resistance fighter and they could have said, I'm going to take this to Princess Leia. Oh, this is the one scene I really hate. Where she just pulls her, her own powers out of her ass. So, yeah, what do you think when he doesn't have the hood on? I look kind of dumb. He, she, he looks dumb. like a mole. Darth Maul? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, like mole. a mole, like the animal. Oh, <laughs> like the enemy? You mean like the animal? Animal! Oh. <laughs> Sorry for being foreign. I thought you meant like Monty Mole from like Mario or something. <laughs> what? Is he handsome? What do you think? No. <laughs> he, wow! He's not. His hair is too pretty. I wish yeah, his it's... hair would look, would, wouldn't look as good. Yeah, but that's really good hair, though, because he has really big elephant ears, and the hair hides it. I think his hair is too pretty. Like, he, he's somewhere between really pretty boy and kind of fucked up looking. <laughs> you know? That's helmet hair, keep in mind. He was just wearing a helmet on top of that. <laughs> they did it, like, remember like in JD A New Hope... Scrubs. Remember in A New Hope when they took off the Stormtrooper helmets from the trash compactor, their hair was like wet and waxy yeah, and matted yeah, yeah. down and disgusting? You're so lonely. Like that whole face reveal was just needing a, a, a slow down and then him shaking his hair out of his <laughs> vision. Look at this. Look at how awkward he is. That fits him. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. No, he's probably never talked to a woman. <laughs> it's like a weird space monk. He does sort of look like... I could believe him to be a Harrison Ford child. Like, he's got, like, the nose. He's got kind of the eyes. I buy it that he's his kid. Yeah. And he's a really good actor. He is a fantastic actor. And they killed him in episode 9, right? Yes, Ugh. in a really bad way. We'll see. He's got a really weird jaw. It's really not. It's he's, so he's not pretty. It's so he, asymmetrical. I, he is. Uh, he looks normal in a way that most uh, Hollywood actors don't. Yeah, and that's what I like about him. Like, he, he has certain imperfections in his face. Yeah. Like, look at his jawline. Yeah. It's just a regular man's jaw. Look at how crooked his jaw is. <laughs> but in 10 years, he's going to have all the tux and plastic surgeries that make his face perfect. You wait. Let me tell you, I work with people who do who do Botox, and it's not good to look at. <laughs> yeah, I knew a really beautiful uh, woman. She was a producer, and uh, she kind of slaughtered her face. Hmm. 
Why? <laughs> Why? But then you can't get to Skywalker. Like, if you have the power to f destroy the resistance, why not do that anyway? Also, why can't you just read the minds of the... What, what never makes sense to me in these movies is when they're in these space battles, you could just have a guy con like control the mind of the enemy admiral and just have him screw up his own plans, right? Well, not from that far. Why, why not? The Jedi need to be pretty close to do their force powers. Yeah, I guess. Oh, this is the scene. This was oh, where yeah. I, I think this was where I turned on the movie. What do you think of Daniel Craig's performance? Daniel Craig? That's Daniel Craig. The Stormtrooper? Yeah. James Bond? Yeah. What? What, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a cameo. Okay, be quiet. I need to hear this. Yeah? What? Oh, yeah, you know what? He does look kind of dumb. <laughs> he does look kind of <laughs> dumb. <laughs> he looks like an animal. Uh, He's like a little rat. Okay, listen to his voice again. That's... Like, if if that is him, he just voiced the audio. He's not in that suit. I think he is in the suit. He does sort of look like a stormtrooper gorilla with his body. He's got really small legs. But anyway, I can't believe she's free. This is... Yeah. She, she <laughs> literally pulled that out of her ass. <laughs> she has no training whatsoever. This is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a scene from Spaceballs. <laughs> <clears throat> what do they do when they, when they drain the entire sun? What's the plan then? Does the planet move? I, f I totally forgot they're draining the sun. What? It's, that's why it's called Starkiller. I thought it's called Starkiller because it's destroying planets. Planets aren't stars. I think they are. No. I can tell from having watched a bunch of Star Trek. I think Star Wars' sci-fi is more in tune with reality than <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> quite Actually, I might, I might be totally wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> Hey, it's that guy that's in J.J. Abrams movies. He has a good beard. What is Neam not doing there? He's just, he's still flying spaceships? Well, so is Han Solo. He's still smuggling. Yeah, that's true. Admiral Ackbar is still So there. is Leia, who's still fighting this dumb fight. Yeah, gee. <laughs> thermal oscillator. Thermal oscillator, okay. Those oh, are that, words. That's, there's a thermal oscillator. It's a good thing that, uh, like, in two minutes, you can decipher all of this. Oh, poor Akbar. Have you watched those Admiral Akbar snack bar videos? No. <laughs> Welcome to Admiral Akbar snack bar. <laughs> it's incredible. Everybody should YouTube that right now. No, after you watch our commentary. Let's go. I always wonder how they never figured that out before. Like this whole plan. It took them took them two minutes of, of discourse. Yeah. To understand exactly how they need to blow this this thing up. You know what? Oh well, nothing. I thought I had a really funny nitpick, but I don't. I love that I like that yellow weird robot in the background there. This is a necessary scene for this movie. Mm. 
he's so good in this. He kind of redeems the movie for me. He's so it's so fun to watch him be good in a movie. Hmm. I don't know. I never really. I never really took to to Harrison Ford in any of the roles that people love. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know why. Look at how cool he is. I probably like him most in Blade Runner 2089. You know, what he, is it? Blade Runner 2049. I promise you, the script right there called for them to kiss, and he was like, I'm not kissing her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. Really? Well, it's only exponential growth from here. Yeah. This is one of those movie tropes that I really hate, where they run around a base, and sometimes they hide, and then they don't. And it's like, they're really lucky that no one is coming yeah. along, or coming like around the corner. You should not go through that base undetected. There are so many people there. And you fucking don't know where you're going. See, that's, this is Iceland, if it's not CGI. Those trees aren't in Iceland, though. No, and I don't want to go to Iceland. Why not? Because I hate the cold. It's, it's not cold all year. We get a few weeks of summer. <laughs> oh, a few weeks. <laughs> it's like 10 degrees, 12 degrees. <laughs> 10 degrees. Fuck that. <laughs> nah, we get, we get pretty good weather, too. It was fine weather today. It reminds me of that one video I saw on Twitter where there's some Icelandic guy like in the dark and he's complaining, it's fucking 3 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Seasonal depression in Iceland is a really big problem. I'm just taking my dog for a walk. Whoops, it's dark. It's a bunch of suicides during wintertime <laughs> yeah. because there's not enough vitamin D from the sun. Sanitation. <laughs> Sanitation? He was a stormtrooper. He was down on the field. What is he talking about? <laughs> Why doesn't Chewie get a jacket if he gets cold? What is this? <laughs> he is not allowed clothes. <laughs> How did he become so powerful so young? Yeah, I don't know. What? Remember the shot from the trailer? This shot? No, it was just a slow-mo of her walking. No. Look at this. He's a bit too hyperactive. Yeah. I feel like that, that relationship down. got barely established Yeah. at the start. I'm in charge now, Vasma. I'm in charge. What is the tone of this movie? It's all over the place. It's, it really is. They don't hold up. What are they talking about? Are they talking about the original Star Wars movies? <laughs> Nah, oh, this this right. is the next scene. I fucking hate it. Oh, when she goes. No, into no, the not this one. But when they when when they randomly see Ray hanging uh, there on the side of the fucking thing, and they oh that's where Ray is. Great, we were looking for her. That's convenient. On the entire planet, yeah, great. Well, the base probably isn't on the entire planet. Yeah, but even then, <laughs> yeah. How does she know that is there? What? <sighs> also, if she's like a real warrior, why is he doing any of this? Like, I think, uh, wouldn't a better soldier just die instead of giving info? <laughs> well, she's actually not a good soldier. Like, I've seen uh, a deleted scene with her in the next movie where she betrays everyone to save her own skin. That was then cut out of the original cut. 
Isn't this a funny callback? Trash compactor? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank the maker. Do you think the red arm is an homage to Big Boss? Mm, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say yes. And we'll have to fight it out in the comment section. <laughs> There's no comment section. We're not uploading this as nah, video. That's true. Wait, are we? Well, Actually, that nah. kind of makes sense, I guess. We'll just put we'll just put the Star Wars movie in and we'll just talk over it. <laughs> nah, we won't do that. We'll probably just put the video up and also put it on uh, Podbean or whatever. Bandcamp or somewhere. Look at this. There's something missing from these space battles. Some there's there's like a there's a charisma these movies don't have. You know? Yeah, that's every movie for me. Like these this is all CGI and I don't care. Like this yeah. is it's gen, genuinely a problem for me in with new movies. It's just What did you think of the Mandalorian? The Mandalorian didn't have this. Like no, this shit right here, it didn't have that. The Mandalorian is a lot closer to the old movies because yeah. it's just like we have one set and we have a big screen where we project all our stuff on and you just need to act. It's just like a camera in a room with these characters. And then when there's action, it's quick and to the point. Yeah. And it's like one guy. Who, you know, I care about him personally. Yeah. I don't care about the galaxy blowing up. Look at this. Isn't this funny what Finn is doing? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's Finn is this? What the fuck? How did they? <laughs> this is the biggest fucking coincidence. <laughs> did he hurt you? Oh, how romantic. Oh, all these feelings. <laughs> Just see the force. See, he's... He's a big he's, believer. He's a very big he's, believer. He's still that smarmy jackass Han Solo. He still has that character and he's surrounded by all these teen drama stars. These young adult movies <laughs> characters. Hey, it's beard guy. Yeah. Barillo's been hit. Like, you know what I mean? I, I don't care about this. I Even in a good movie, I wouldn't care. I, I would just wish for this to be over. Yeah. Because the moment it's CGI, I don't care anymore because they can do anything. You know, it's not like, wow, that's a great effect. Yeah. That's impressive. No, it's CGI. There's a lot of practical effects in this movie, though, to be fair. Yeah, and that's the stuff I don't hate. But giant space battles, just whatever. Look at his wobbly way of handling that gun. <laughs> he, did, he, he, he did it in the original movies, too. It's nice that he maintained that. Even though he's a seasoned veteran? Yeah. Like, what? How did she know about... Well, Why would that open the door? <laughs> Just pulled some random thing out of, the, out of the panel in the wall. It's going to open the door. <laughs> what? What's a better idea? To go that's, up and down, I guess. That's the joke. Oh... They pulled one over on me there. <laughs> Beep. Yeah, right. I'm supposed to believe Harrison Ford has the physique to do that little jock. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Patrick Stewart. 
<laughs> oh yeah, they turned him into an action star in the old uh, Star Trek movies. Yeah, they did. Are they still trying to make an make him an action star in the new show? No. Uh, that's but sensible. they they still want a lot of action in the show. That's the issue. Oh, so is he just sort of like wobbling, waddling through the action? He's just sitting. <laughs> He's standing or sitting or walking three paces and then sitting down. He's so old. He sees a doddering <laughs> old fool now. It's awful. You know what? He does look kind of silly. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I admit that now. I'm man enough to admit when I was wrong. Oh, first time for everything. Well, I've never been wrong before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I believe I once said that Code Geass was a good show, though. So, who knows? Hey, we should have done a Code Geass commentary. Oh. Why is he named Ben? Leia do... didn't know it. Leia knew him as Obi-Wan, and Han Solo hated him. Why would they call him Ben? In the old expanded universe, Ben Skywalker was Luke's son, and that makes sense. Why would Han Solo name him Ben? Why not? Because he hated Obi-Wan. He hated him. Oh, well, did he? Yeah, he's like, he gave him a lot of attitude. Oh, he, he gave everyone attitude at first. Yeah, that's true. But he was like, ah, pfft, there's no such thing as the force, you losing your old man. <laughs> Who wrote that? Lawrence Kasdan? <laughs> he he cracked this script out in an afternoon. Yeah. J.J. <laughs> Abrams was like, oh, what if we have this here little scene? And he's like, J.J. Abrams spends like five hours coming up with one little scene and, J and Lawrence Kasdan's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And that's the collaboration. See, it's such a it's such a telegraphed scene. Yeah, like I've, they're not walking like, off this bridge. Who who built this bridge anyway? Yeah, where does it go? Why wouldn't it have railing? Well, uh, that's Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's Star Wars. Yeah. No railings allowed. I think he should have cut his head off. It really, it's really telegraphed, <laughs> though. Yeah. Obviously, someone is going to fall down. His death is too dignified. I think he should have cut his head off. Just kept the head. Is that a funny joke? I don't know. I'm trying to get into the scene, Asa. <laughs> trying to feel the emotion. Adam Driver wants to be free from the pain. Oh! <gasps> Just push him off, you loser. And die. You know what? This is a good scene, though, in that it shows Han Solo's growth. Because Han Solo, in the older movies, he would not have been blindsided by this guy. His, his newly found compassion is what does him in. Yeah. I, mean, and I like that. It's a son, you know. Yeah. I also like that Kylo Ren is sort of struggling to destroy what was left of Kylo Ren because it harkens back to uh, my one of my favorite Star Wars books, Shadows of the Empire, where Darth Vader is sort of fighting to destroy every last aspect of Anakin Skywalker. Mm -hmm. Because he meditates, and in his meditation he focuses on the dark side, and he manages to heal himself, and he manages to breathe naturally, and it fills him with joy, and the joy ruins his concentration of the dark side. And, Dark Sa and he uh, immediately becomes unhealed. And he resolves to destroy all of Anakin Skywalker because he, in his joy he had like these flashbacks of being Anakin and he starts to try to destroy all the joy in his life to uh, become one with the darkness and heal himself. 
I like that scene because it sort of uh, contextualizes his his uh, redemption when he kills the emperor. Uh, I think we talked about this once, but that scene doesn't work. Like you can't just kill. It's like if if Hitler and Stalin were together and Stalin was killing Hitler's kid and Hitler killed Stalin. Does that redeem Hitler? No. But the, that scene works much better when you have the context of Shadows of the Empire because that's uh, Darth Vader sacrificing the dark side to save the last part of Anakin Skywalker that he hadn't destroyed. And this scene reminds me a bit of that. Yeah, it's an okay scene. It's an okay scene. It's pretty good. Except for the fact where the bridge yeah, is dumb. Too telegraphed. All the... It's telegraphed and all the stormtroopers who should have been there and caught Ray and Finn while they're looking at it for five minutes. Like they had this specific order to look for them. Yeah. And they were just standing there in the open. Look at this. Look at all those trees. Do you know those How did he trees? get ahead of him? Yeah, Not, that's a good question. I don't know those trees. Okay. I don't know every tree bogan. Okay. Just checking. I don't think this is shot in Iceland. I think this is shot in a studio. I don't think we have those trees in Iceland. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's hurt. He's like oh, trying so... to numb his pain or something. Dead. <laughs> it would have been so great if she got like impaled <laughs> on a broken <laughs> twig. Just kill him, man. Yeah. One thing I like about this uh, is that the lightsaber fighting, they're just chopping wood. Because in the prequels, it was just like a ballet. A ballet it's like a dance. This this is just, guys, there's no finesse. <laughs> it's a lot like, uh, I like it in the old Star Wars movies too, where Luke Skywalker, when he's on Jabba's palace, he's just, it's just wild swinging like a madman because nobody can dodge him. Yeah. And that's what this is. There's no finesse to any of this. I like I'm Adam Driver a lot in this scene. I, I forgot that he's like, what he looks like and how he's trying to hit his wound. Yeah. And how fucking cruel he is. Like, he's clearly struggling from what he just did. But look, the cross guards, they are actually functional. Yeah. It can be a weapon, too. And now Finn got his ass kicked a second time. Yeah, I think that's the second time we've had a punch in a lightsaber fight. The first time, I think, was when Qui-Gon Jinn backhanded Darth Maul. Why not just grab it? <laughs> it's sort of emotionally manipulative, the music editing point, right? It is. Look at this sort of slow motion. <gasps> I wonder if in 30 years a new generation of nerds are going to be uh, commentating over this movie and they're going to be like, oh, this is so amazing. They don't make Star Wars movies like this anymore. The sad thing is that that's probably going to happen. <laughs> He's not black. It's Poe Dameron. He's a Latino man, I believe. That's a black man. Ha 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 ha. Get it? It's a trance run. Mm-hmm. I remember. Oh no, the alien guy. 
<laughs> Good luck, Paul. <laughs> you have a heart of gold. <laughs> Oh, that guy knows how to read. Earlier, I wanted to say we should do commentary on X and Y, and now I forget, forgot what I wanted to say. Oh, Some uh, kind of fucking movie that had to do with this one. What? The prequels? No. The original? Fuck, You already it? said Solo. That had to do with this one. Well, yeah, like some actor from this is in that movie I meant. Oscar Isaacs? No. Adam Driver? And it's one that I think is coming out soon. Oh. Fuck, uh, I don't remember. This Harrison is... Ford. No. Indiana Jones. Ah, whatever. It's going to bother me the rest of the day Donald now. Donald Gleeson? No. Some pop movie garbage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, okay, it has nothing to do with this movie, but because you mentioned it earlier, <laughs> we should do a commentary on the... a blind commentary on the Code Gears movie. Oh, yeah! No, I want to watch that in earnest. Really? Yeah, I, <laughs> I still kind of like think it. me complaining for 90 minutes is going to be a problem. <laughs> it's just going to be you pointing out like, look at how stupid this is. <laughs> this is totally out of character. And it's me just, hey, shut up, man. I'm trying to watch the movie. And then Daniel will go on a tangent about Fate Zero. <laughs> she has her eyes closed. Just kill her. Yeah. What are you waiting for? I want to remind you that she has no training, zero training in anything. Yeah, that's true. What do you mean? She has that stick. Those skills translate over, you know? Totally. Yeah, this is a bit contrived. Feels like they wanted to do a final battle, but then... They just sort of had to bullshit their way around making it work, so they crippled him. Originally in the theater, I thought the lightsaber flying back was going to go into Luke's hand, and that wouldn't have made any sense, but I think uh, that would have <laughs> been cool. But that's why people call her a Mary Sue, because she didn't earn anything in this fucking movie. Yeah. Everything is handed to her. You notice in the, in the Last Jedi, they moved his scar. Also, this shit right here. Isn't this a bit con convenient? Yeah, think? they could have just done that and then had that be the end of the fight. Well, it's like in the moment where he's beaten. Whoops. Yeah. Now I can't kill you. Oh, well. Bye-bye. <sighs> That's what I hate about this movie. It's a bit contrived. Well, a bit. It's a. It's the very The fucking contrived. planet itself has a narrative agenda. Supreme leader. What a fucking parasite! Just get off the planet. Why do you need his permission? Yeah. He has a really weird jawline. What is it with you and jawlines? <laughs> what are you, my dad? Complaining <laughs> about me? Complaining about jawlines? My dad, he has a beard on now. And he's had a beard for like the last 20 years. Uh, I think it's because he's losing his jawline. And he wants to maintain the illusion. Hmm, I know that one. You see it, right? 
It's like there's no definition to mark the fat of his neck or his under chin to his but chin. Finn is not exactly like trained. He's no, not, but he's not super John buff. Po- no, but John Boyega, he's not like he's not in bad shape. He's no. like Hollywood fit, right? I, well, yeah. regular well, person. No, fit. no, he's not Hollywood fit. He's like a step below regular person or fit. above whatever. Yeah. But I think he's he's a bit more chubby in this movie than he is in press interviews. I want to say. Oh. He kept sneaking into Carrie Fisher's room's room <laughs> to eat candy bars. They were having pot cookies together. Had you heard that story? What? In uh, Last Jedi, when he had to work out for that movie, and during the production of the movie, he had to work out, and he was on a strict diet. And every every time he was doing a scene with her, with her, he'd sneak off, and they would eat candy bars in their trailer together. <laughs> Carrie Fisher doesn't give a shit. She doesn't give a shit. She's the best. <laughs> she great. is the best. She's the best hype man for Star Wars yeah. because there's no facade. <laughs> Look at Chewbacca just walk past her. <laughs> <laughs> this has been pointed out by everyone, but it's true. He would be the first one to hug her. Yeah. But that's also a scene like, how did that make it into the movie? Like, you, you the guys were shooting and they didn't realize that? Yeah. And then he's just standing Chewie's there. He's just standing there like, oh, where am I? <laughs> the fuck is happening? I'm confused. I'm confused. <gasps> this looks like the Teletubbies house. <laughs> now he grieves. What is their relationship? Ugh. C-3PO, the worst character in all of these movies. Yep. He's so selfish. He's always complaining about how he's in danger. I know he, I know in the trailer he's like, oh, I'm having a last look at my friends. I, I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I would have preferred the original trilogy if he would have not been in anyone past four. Yeah, he's not, like, now that I think about it, he was just a nuisance to put up with in yeah. the original movies, too. Luke should have sold him. <laughs> sold him on Tatooine. Went with Han Solo. This is so dumb. Yeah, you couldn't have, you couldn't have puzzled this together yourself. This yourselves. is so dumb. Just just search that sector of the galaxy. Yeah. Just just search. You have a f- bunch of ships. Just go there and look. Yeah. It's a literal puzzle. <laughs> Fuck me. Look at his neck. Look at it. <laughs> Stop fat shaming. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be in a Hollywood movie, at least you, <laughs> you can better do it. get to four percent body fat, chubby boy. <laughs> like, look at her. Look at her neck. She has a really thin neck, like us. <laughs> Speak for yourself, dude. Hey, now. We already confirmed this, right? Hey, huh? Look at her neck. He's got oh, like you a said neck. neck. Okay. What? I thought you meant like the, the the second chin. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. I have a really big chin, so I can get a lot of fat under my chin before it starts to catch up with me. Oh, you lucky bastard. Yes. The downsides of that, of course, is that I have a big chin. Which is sometimes okay. Why does she get... Well, I guess Chewie got the ship. Why are they celebrating? I don't know. They're glad to be rid of her. They hate her as much as you do. (laughs) Does the asteroid belt make sense? No. Can M-class planets have that? Uh, I genuinely don't know. 
I think they can, but they're too. They wouldn't be that close to each other. Look at this. It's Ireland. It's that island that looks like a shoe. <laughs> right? What? Look at it. It's like a shoe. What the fuck are you talking about? That island, the mountain. It looks oh, like yeah. a shoe. Well, okay. Man, we're already at the end of the movie. Yeah, it was a breeze. I will say this: the movie does have a, it's it has kind of a cracking pace, for better or worse. Yeah, this does this did not feel like two and a half hours. No. Well, it's only been two hours. Two hours eighteen. Yeah. Oh yeah, two five it is now. <laughs> You're a vegetarian, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I uh, when I first saw the Last Jedi, the first thing I my first uh, in instinct was I wanted to eat a pork. I wanted to taste one of those because they're <laughs> puffins. They CGI'd over puffins to put them there, and puffins are really tasty. I could never eat a puffin. They're too cute. Well, remember that time I had a puffin in my house? Yes. <laughs> what an arc I had him for like two days and then I had to let him go oh my god I think this is the most Star Wars shot in any of these movies when he's taking the hood off you have like this old monk with a robot hand this hmm. see he got in shape for this yeah, he's looking he had good. become like a what He's he was like good. a, he's he was like a fat sack of crap a few years ago. They put him on some hormone replacement therapy, <laughs> some of that good Hollywood. Also, he juice. has a beard to to hide his chin. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. Look at this, look at his look at his asymmetrical nose. <laughs> <laughs> You should come a bit closer, Ray. I I can't grab it. Dun, 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 Please step up. Man, I I rewatched the uh, the mystery box talk of J.J. Abrams. It mm -hmm. kind of says nothing in that whole thing. <laughs> so it's really like he even the shit that people get upset about in the whole mystery box idea. He doesn't say yeah. that. He doesn't say anything. What does he say? He he just brings in a bunch of random examples from films he did about fucking anything, like special effects, storylines, old anecdotes of people he knew. Like it's nothing. He's a good speaker. He's he's actually pretty funny. Like he seems like a fun guy to be around, but I don't know. Top billing, Harrison Ford. And Mark Hamill. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Mark Hamill get to be ahead of Carrie Fisher? I think that's a bit unfair. That's, He's barely yeah. in the movie. Daisy Ridley is like fifth. Yeah. Yeah, Adam Driver was ahead of her. Yeah. Andy Serkis. Yeah. Who the Tom fuck? Hall Gleason. Wait. Who the, who the fuck did Andy Serkis play? He's Snoke. Oh, okay. I actually uh, didn't Peter know Mayhew, that. Peter Mayhew, rest in peace. And that's it. That's the official Star Wars Force Awakens commentary from the Estes and Espresso cast. Official. Uh the official one. Daniel is going to record his audio and he's going <laughs> to upload that separately. And you're going to have to play this and his version. I hope you've been doing that throughout all of this at the same time. <laughs> He's not actually doing that. Don't go looking for Daniel's version of this commentary track. <laughs> to watch it all over again.
Now, Daniel doesn't want to watch Star Wars. Yeah. Because apparently Maybe he he's will a cool watch guy. watch episode 8 with us. Maybe. We really have to get him to watch episode 9. He's going to hate it. Uh, and he's I need seen to see that. that, though, right? No. No, he no. hasn't. He hasn't. He doesn't want to see it for some fucking reason. Yeah. We'll just get Chris Avalon instead. I remember talking to him about uh, the Star Wars 9 trailer, the first one with the Emperor laughing, had just released. And I asked him, oh, that's weird that he's laughing in the trailer. Is he going to be in the movie, do you think? <laughs> like, that would be weird if they just brought him back. Surely, surely it's like just his ghost or something. And Chris Avalon was like, yeah, it would be pretty weird if they just brought him back. My friend Chris Avalon. I just call him Chris. <laughs> <laughs> He's been pushing to be on the podcast soon, by the way. If uh, if we can get that going, Bogan, play KOTOR 2, you monster. No. <sighs> well, we can just talk about something else than KOTOR then. We'll talk Has about... Has he actually been pushing to be on the podcast? Nah, he, uh, when I was emailing him, uh, when I was congratulating him on uh, the reception to Fallen Order, he just reminded me that he's looking forward to being on the podcast. Well, he's just being polite. He what didn't, do you mean? He didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> he probably meant that. He's probably looking forward to spending time with me again. I'm a really oh, yeah, fun guy. I'm sure. I'm a real it's fun like guy. Telling you his know. kids and his wife about you. <laughs> I'm a real fun guy, like a like a fungus that grows in you and just starts <laughs> to rot your system. <laughs> Man, look at all these people. Look at all these Korean animators who are working in the sweatshops. <laughs> <laughs> these people are probably some of them are probably dead by now. Imagine. Because yeah, the Chinese government. I written. mean, how many eighty-year-old visual effects artists are there? No, I mean, I mean, because the Chinese communist government repressed information about oh, the yeah. coronavirus. That's right. I'm dating this podcast. I'm oh, dating this fuck. commentary track. <laughs> we still don't have a cure, people. Look like, at this. They had digital artists, and then now they have digital uh, digital artists again. <laughs> Ah, it's a different team, you know. Base FX. What? Hyperdyne, a division of Ubisoft? Now I really hate this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what's going on here? Are there any funny names? No. Ha! Melissa Espina, get out of here. Adam Fisk. Anyway, I don't think we need to be here for the entire end credits. No. Do we? So, no. What are your thoughts on the movie? How'd you like it? Ah, I like it. It's fine. Right? I'm probably never going to watch it again. But it's like, if you're a kid, you can probably watch this and have fun with it. It's okay. Right? Like it's, it's not a, a it, bad. It movie. introduced nothing new. Yeah, it's very. It's like the. I think this movie would be remember, remembered a bit more fondly if subsequent movies had been better. I think people would have been able to excuse it as well. It's just. It's just a real like. It's a soft entry back into this universe. No. Just do it safe. But but you know what? Even then, it's not really that because there's so much weird snark and m weird quippy humor I don't know it's not bad but yeah a it's like movie, if, if the other movies were better people would be going back to this and going like ooh that line that Snoke said meant the, you know it foreshadowed this thing that he did in, in episode 8 or 9 and now you don't yeah. need to do that because they didn't plan out shit <laughs> a bad movie is something like Kindergarten Cop this is not that this is fuck? just Okay. Kindergarten Cop. You haven't seen that? I don't With think Arnold I ever have seen that. No, I know the Put movie. Put the cookie down. That's such a weird, random comparison to make. <laughs> well, that was the last bad movie they made. <laughs> Who's they? 
Hollywood. Oh, okay. <laughs> They've just been knocking it out of the park since. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, when are we uh, going to do the episode 8 commentary? Next month? Next um, week? When do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Next week not, because then we're recording a podcast, but... Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind if we do it in two or three or four weeks. Yeah, whatever works for you. I just recorded uh, an hour and a half long conversation with uh, Loki, Vadi Vidya's translator, like four or five hours ago. So I've been re- I've been recording all day, mate. What have you been doing? Oh, we're so productive. Yes. I've been playing Path of Exile. <laughs> What can I say? King of games in the streets, king of games <laughs> in the sheets. <laughs> anyway, that's the that's the commentary. Thanks everybody for listening. Uh, Bogan, do you have a sign out? I did have one. I forgot it. I haven't made have a video a in so long. Oh yeah, it was Bogan signing out. Oh, that's a good one. Here's mine, Acer. Signing out. No, fuck you. (laughs) Bye. Bye.